There are two types of beard wash, a daily gentle type and a stripping type. One of the most common questions that I get, period, like just most common in general, is how can I tell if a beard wash is stripping or if it is a daily gentle? And I'm going to give you guys all those answers, but real quick, my name's Dancy Bearded. If you could, you guys know the deal, hit a thumbs up for me. If you're not subscribed, please consider it. And if you are subscribed, thank you guys so much. Okay. The first way to be able to tell is the simplest, and we hope that more companies are getting better at this, and that is the label on the bottle. We are starting to see companies put daily gentle wash, stripping wash, and then really letting you know from their parameters of where it falls. That's the best way. That's the easiest way. Now, if it is not labeled, that's probably why you are asking me, and that's where it gets much more difficult because there are very few humans on this planet that can read the ingredient list of a beard wash and understand if it is stripping or if it is daily and gentle. And to take it even further, sometimes it's just straight up impossible. The reason why is we have a general idea of the ingredients and their potency, but we don't know any exact details. All we know is that they have to list the ingredients by potency, for the most potent down to the least potent, but that doesn't take into account ties. If you have equal potency of four different ones, they can go in any order they want. But it also can be one thing has a huge chunk and then there's a huge fall off. So we really can't determine those aspects and that can make it impossible to determine if it's stripping or if it's gentle by reading a paper. Unlike a beard oil bottle, you can likely tell if it's a thick oil or a thin oil just by reading the ingredient list. Washes is a straight up water-based chemistry experiment that is super hard to understand. So if that's the case, there are two other ways you can tell if it's not labeled. Number one is obtain the pH level. The pH is the indicator that will tell us how stripping it is or how gentle it is. Now, companies do not have to list a pH le level on the bottle, on the website. They don't even have to tell you if they don't want to. However, many will. If you reach out and you ask them, they get their safety data sheets from the lab, from whoever they have testing it or making it, and then they can share that with you if they would like. Now, I have a separate video that I will link in the description that goes into much more detail about the pH level and how that spectrum will fall, whether it's gentle or it's stripping. Uh, check that one out for those further details. So pH level. The only other way that I can think of other than testing it yourself and coming up with your own thoughts on it is by asking someone that knows like me. I have likely used a beard wash if you're thinking about it, or I help develop it, or I know the pH level, or at worst, I can say, I'm sorry, I don't know that one, and then try my best to find someone that does. So I would say go through that progression. Is it labeled? Okay. Is it not? Who Do I want to reach out and ask for the pH level? Do I want to test it myself? Or do I want to ask someone like Dan or someone else that I know has a lot of experience with beard products and they would be happy to help out? It can be tough, but it is worth it. I do recommend a healthy rotation of daily gentle washes and of stripping washes. A stripping wash should not be used more than once a week. Daily gentle ones can be used every single day, right? We've addressed that myth many times on this channel. If you get sweaty, if you get dirty, wash your beard. Just make sure you're using the proper one. And one last little tidbit that I'll add on that most of you that watch this channel regularly will already know, beard soap is always 100% stripping. There is not a single soap that is on the market for your beard that is not stripping. That's just what happens in the, I'm gonna see if I can say it right here. I always struggle on this one. So bonification, kind of bombed it, but in the soap making process, you're going to get a pH level that is going to be stripping. Now there are solid beard washes that are not soap, right? We don't need to get into lye in that whole process, uh, but there are solid washes that's separate there. But just know if you have a beard bar soap, it is stripping. Now on the liquid washes, we have some stripping ones, we have some gentle ones. You gotta go through all the tactics we talked about in this video today. So please, I know you will have some. Leave your questions down below. I would be honored to be able to help you out. Leave your comments, leave your experiences. If there's something I missed, oftentimes I totally leave it up to you guys. On this one, I don't think there's a lot of other lanes out there on doing it yourself. You can't do a little pH testing strip at your house. It doesn't work the same way as your pool. Um, you have to have a more complicated testing method than that. 
But if there's something else that you have figured out to be able to tell whether it's a gentle or whether it's a stripping, hey, let's hear it down in the comments and I'll give my feedback on that. Cannot wait to read these comments today. Thank you guys for watching. Dancy Bearded. Stay bearded and stay positive.